Yo, what's up with like every movie where Arnold has a kid? The kid's name is Jamie. Yeah, is I have real? to say, yeah, Jamie. Yeah, yeah. Jamie. Jamie, it's Christmas, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> don't forget, man. we have to get a present. <laughs> the turbo <laughs> man, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, I did not know that that was the case. Yeah, and in every movie he had like a like his name was like John Anderson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love. I'm from I'm from Cleveland. I'm I a police officer I'm a cop. from Los Angeles, <laughs> <laughs> born and raised. <laughs> he's the big yo. He's like he's one of my. He's, he's the, the king, dude. He's the biggest overachiever of all time. Yeah. I, I'm not saying he didn't work for it. He worked for that body. Well, his dad was a Nazi. I mean, you know, people yeah. complain they about their fathers. They instill values in you. Well, in imagine if age. your father's he was wasn't he a Nazi police officer? He was like a, he was an, an Aust Austrian cop. He was an Austrian yeah. cop, but that was also a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> well, I so mean, imagine you have a Nazi Austria. cop dad. How are you not going to be the most jacked fucking dude <laughs> in the entire world? Then the whole country should be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, yeah, that's true. Dude. Wow, <laughs> profound. Got Thanks. He bro. got you, bitch. <laughs> R.I.P. Harambe. <laughs> Yo, but like, listen. Here's this guy. This this like mongoloid like. Uh, like gland case that's like I'm gonna be the strongest guy in the world and then he became the strongest guy in the world yeah. and then he's like I'm gonna be the biggest movie star despite the fact that I cannot speak English right. well, he was in, like a in, real in, estate in an intelligible too. manner whatsoever right and then he became the biggest fucking movie star in America well it was he... right time right place for him I think the, the 1980s were a weird thing like after the Vietnam War and before the Gulf War there was like this weird period in American cinema where the idea of like an American hero evaporated because they like lionized World War II in American cinema. Right, yeah. So you have all these movies like glorifying the American GI and what a hero is. Right. And then everybody hates the fucking military after Vietnam uh -huh. and nobody gives a shit about like American values anymore after Nixon and stuff. And so all of like the American heroes in the 1980s are like you know, Europeans on steroids. Right, you know, right, It's right, like right, John right. claude Van Damme and, you know, Arnold and shit. Stallone had a nice run there. be a literal robot. Yeah, Sly. But so, just, yeah, but he sounds European because he has, like, Bell's palsy or some shit. <laughs> well, Dave, and also Rambo is, like, so He did anti. porn, right, before he became a... He was living yeah, he in did the, one, in, yeah. He was living in the... I saw his was pretty big. The, um... The bus station at Times Square. What's that shit? The Port, Port Authority. Port Authority. Yeah, he was living there. And he saw, uh, saw an ad for the soft core porn. Uh, Whoa, is Sylvester Stallone here? <laughs> yeah. Yo, was, uh, <laughs> how you guys doing right now? <laughs> I wish I could do better. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he did porn. He did a porn. I watched it. it was, you know, and then, I think you can see his dick. The story of Rocky is pretty cool because he wrote that fucking piece of shit. And hey, and on. then he sold it. And he was like, I want to direct it and be in the movie. Uh, you're not getting it. Right. And then they fucking, mm -hmm. you know, they, they were like, no, we'll give you this amount of money. And he mm -hmm. fought for it and fought for it. Yeah. And he took like a lower amount of pay to be in it. And now, you know. Yeah, it's fucking You won best it's screenplay at the Academy Awards. My friend Matt told me a story that like Sylvester Stallone, like he has a friend that's family friends with Sylvester Stallone. And, you know, they've known them for years and they went horseback riding on their like with their <laughs> horses in Maryland somewhere mm -hmm. in like Western Maryland. And, uh. Sylvester Stallone fell off his horse and like stubbed his thumb and started crying. <laughs> He's a grown man. I love this fucking slander, this sly slander we got going on. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I heard from <laughs> yo. I heard from one guy told me that <laughs> another guy that he knows <laughs> said the Sylvester Stallone cried. Dude. I'll fucking kick his ass. If I see him right dude, now, he's a bitch. He's dude. a fucking bitch, dude. I'll kick his ass. Yeah, fuck sly, yeah. Um, so what's going on in the world of monster trucks? That's, uh, is the monster truck segment. Oh, the, the, the bone, what's his name? The grave, grave digger. digger. Grave digger is always, I feel like since we were kids, been around. He's always, yeah. Well, that's, that's like the number two truck after Bigfoot. You yeah. know what I want to do? I wanted to print out my own grave digger shirts with grave digger on them and, uh, like go to an event, like a monster truck event and set up a little table and start selling them and see how long it takes before they notice and shut me down. But it says Grave Digger on it. Or, well, it's got Grave Digger on it. It's a picture of Grave Digger, and then it says Digger Lover. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you see how many you can That's sell. That's pretty good. I think I, people would buy them. They would sell out quick, dude. Yeah. The, the Monster Truck Have demographic. Have you been to a Monster Truck? And the N-word pun demographic. Yeah. Yeah, I went, to a, I went to a Monster Jam at USA Arena when I was like five. 
Was it good? I don't know. I was five. I was there with my grandma. I remember being very oh, loud. Nice. And then I went you're... to another uh, monster truck event pretty recently. Me and Dana went. Uh, to one at, at like a fair and it was it kind of sucked. Yeah, it's it seems like cool. it would suck. Yeah, my friend just went for his like birthday in Austin. He went to one and he he said it was kind of underwhelming. I believe that shit, dude. I would want to go, but it's just anywhere there's that many fucking people and the people that love monster truck rallies. You want to go to be around? You want to have your own private monster truck? Yeah, event? I want to have, I wanna have <laughs> like a Bond villain. I want to have a fucking. I want an audience with fucking Grave Digger, dude. I want a private audience with Grave Digger. <laughs> I want to go <laughs> in a fucking robe. <laughs> I, I watched the uh, like the modern marvels on monster trucks, and they were like talking about. How the, the drivers don't have fans, and the drivers get, like, <laughs> fucked up, dude. They get, like, their spines broken and shit, and they just cycle them out. And it's like, really, people only care about the trucks. They're unsung That's, heroes. The trucks are, are yeah. like, characters. The trucks are the stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much do you Holy fucking shit. make to be a, a monster truck driver? $22,000 a year. <laughs> That's not bad. No, they got to be Teamsters, right? How funny would yeah, it be if they're Teamsters? Yeah. They're fully union. Yeah. I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I drove over a car last week. Get me a fucking sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> the trucks just sit there all day long. <laughs> you get paid $9,000. Um, That's not bad. $9,000 a day. Yeah, that's how much Teamsters make. I want to go to the no, RNC. <laughs> Yeah, Brandon Wardell's going. I know. That's yeah, hilarious. Brandon Wardell's being sent there by like Nickelodeon, Gak, and fucking go. He's got some great insights into the world of politics. Yeah, I don't understand what they're doing. Uh, uh, they're, they're sending me uh, to the RNC, and I'm gonna be like, yo, yo, yo uh, 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 nice to hear it's whack, Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's gonna be the entirety of of what they pay him a quarter million dollars <laughs> to go there. Really, like get them to dab or something. Yeah, exactly. He's going to be like, I just taught the soldier boy dance to the delegates from the, Guam. The Hillary campaign should seriously fucking poach Brandon. They should hire Brandon. Honestly, and, really, they should. They should. That would They're be... He's, doing he's that good already, at memes. Right? He yeah, just, he, w he would be great for them. And then also, we could relentlessly bully Brandon about <laughs> doing that for the rest of his fucking short life. <laughs> short. Oh, yeah, dude. The more money he gets... He's going to overdose on sneakers or whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh, did you guys... I on forgot to ask. Did, water? did yeah. you congratulate Trump for predicting the terrorist attack? <laughs> oh, oh man. man. That was the best tweet. What a champion. Of the day. Yeah. 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 And yeah the, everyone's saying thank you to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone's congratulating me. I want to say thank you for congratulating me, but it's, you know, let's give it a day or two before I graciously accept that I was right about Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> oh god he's the king you he's know, a fucking hero man. so now it's like a basically we get in, like, a fascist versus an imperialist and we have to choose everyone's Whoa, gonna choose imperialist stop with the hot takes over there buddy that's my take guys I know the, <laughs> cho I know the chopper uh, heads are actually <laughs> sorry guys you're not allowed to say hot takes anymore that's uh, that uh, that's belongs to Brandon Wardell yeah, yeah, copyright Brandon's Viacom it, yeah. the Brandon Wardell Corporation Fuck. It's Lit Fam Entertainment <laughs> Incorporated. They own hot takes now.